Right. We have some indoor sports like weather yes. for today and tomorrow. There's just a couple of spotty showers around across Connecticut right now, more offshore. And you can see them to the south of us. These are lifting northward, so a heads up for Tiverton and New Bedford, Little Compton. You may see a quick little rain shower here shortly. You can see those showers across Connecticut and Long Island staying mostly to the west of us. It's all part of an approaching strong cold front, and there's moisture that's lifting northward out ahead of the front. So I am watching some of these showers that are developing south of Long Island. So we will likely get some spotty showers around this morning, but we're more concerned with this evening and tonight. That's when the rain becomes widespread, downpours, gusty winds expected. It's going to be a stormy night. And then Friday morning, some lingering impacts for the early morning commute, especially. Temperatures have stayed very warm through the night, upper 50s to lower 60s outside. You can see from our East Providence camera, good visibility and just mainly cloudy skies. Winds are already starting to pick up. They're out of the south at 14 miles per hour, and it does become even windier as the day goes on. So mostly cloudy this morning. There's not a whole lot going on through the morning commute. You should be able to travel on those roads without any significant issues. As they get into the afternoon and evening, you can start to see these showers starting to blossom more. So there's more of them around as the day goes on. But then the heavier rain likely to arrive as the sun is setting or just past that. And we're looking at downpours that will continue on throughout the night. 7 a.m. on Friday morning, back edge of the rainfall starting to push east across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. So the afternoon dry and even brightening up. Some breaks of sunshine expected. This morning, any little hint of sun is few and far between. Shower chances going up. Temperatures are mild between about 65 and 70 this afternoon. Again, more rain as we head into the end of the day today. And there is the threat of some isolated thunderstorms, especially overnight tonight. Temperatures tonight staying in the 60s. Again, upper 50s to low 60s with those winds going to be gusting at times over 40 miles per hour near the coastline. So during the day today, about a quarter to a half an inch of rain, most of it falling overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. We end up with one to two inches of rain likely and as much as two to three inches of rainfall in some areas. Our forecast peak wind gusts tonight, 35 to 45 along the coastline. Further south and uh, further north and west, the winds will be gusting in Providence and over northwest Rhode Island, closer to about 30 to 35 miles per hour. We take a look at our seven day forecast, and we've got dry conditions returning for Friday afternoon. These are all above average temperatures next several days, despite the unsettled weather. So, first half of the day looking mainly cloudy and a rainy start, and then drier in the afternoon, looking like a nice Friday evening and night. And Saturday is pleasant and dry. Sunday looking mild. There's likely to be more clouds around on Sunday and a chance of an isolated shower. Shower chances going up for early next week and the temperatures are going down. Highs only in the upper 50s Tuesday and low to mid 50s by Wednesday.